40% of PEs in pregnancy occur in the antepartum period. We love PERC. We love wells. We use these all the time to help us risk stratify other patients. Can I apply these to my pregnant patient? Unfortunately, we cannot. So in all the studies, pregnant women were excluded. Can I use D-dimer in my pregnant patient? The problem with D-dimer is it's already elevated in pregnancy. When you send it and you get that positive result, do you know what to do with it? Now we've got the year's algorithm, and this has been practice changing, validated in the pregnant population and who've been referred to a hospital for a concern of pulmonary embolism. What they did is they took the three clinical criteria of the well score for PE that are most predictive in the Wells Korea for PE and they applied it and used it here in the year's algorithm. And then they added one lab value, which is our D-dimer, to determine the need for CTPE. What they were really looking to find out is if we follow these patients that we've ruled out using this year's algorithm, how many of them are going to have a DVT or a PE three months later? The results were one patient ended up having a symptomatic popliteal DVT diagnosed on day nine. 90. 